Hey guys, this is Sounds Mac Help here, and today I'm going to be talking to you about antivirus for the Mac and whether Macs do or don't get viruses. Now, to start off with uh, whether Macs get viruses or not, they do get viruses, but they don't get them as much as PCs. Now, people think, oh, I don't need virus protection because my Mac has got built in secure and it's secure and everything, and they don't make viruses for Mac and everything. But they do make viruses for Mac. Um, not as much as PCs, admittedly, but they still do it. So it's advised that you need some basic protection. And you could, you don't need to pay for this. Like, you can get Norton for the Mac, but that's, what, £99, dollars or whatever. So what I'm going to show you today is a free program called iAntivirus. And it's for the Mac, obviously. And it, basically, it just protects your Mac as well as Norton for Mac would do. And it just runs scans every week or so. And it just basically protects your Mac from those viruses that are out there to get your Mac. So it's up here in my menu bar, as you can see. And it's a little icon here. And if I just click on it, it brings down the menu about iAntivirus, Preferences, Protect from Mac, Show, Smart Update and Exit. And if I just go into Preferences here, you can see I've got the Preferences of iAntivirus. If I bring it over to this space. So the preferences come up. So I can go to general, which is the tab that it's already on. And it basically just allows you to modify general engine scan settings. So scan mode, whatever that word says, scan engine settings and so on. Quarantine is where they'll put the is where the program will put the items that they think might be viruses into quarantine and stop them from affecting your computer. You can go and check them out, delete them, do whatever you want with them, and see if they are actually viruses. Scheduling is obviously where when it will run scans. So I've got mine to automatically perform a scan weekly and automatically check for it and install up updates weekly. So then if a new virus comes about that I antivirus find out about, it will update it in this scan in this uh, up in the next update. And then um when my computer scans it and if it finds it then it will know that it's a virus. History is just everything that I've done before in the program. So if I go down here and click return to main then it's a select an action status and summary. Just a load of um, updates about uh, the program and stuff. And then on select an action, I've got scan my Mac and protect my Mac. If I go on scan my Mac, normal scan is the best scan because it's a lot more thorough than the quick scan. But quick scan is just one that you can do like, you know, every other day or something. You don't need to do it as often as that, but if you want to, you can. And that will just scan the most common areas. Normal scan will scan a lot deeper, uh, you know, in the places where they, you don't think they'll find a virus. But um, if they do, then, you know, you need to use normal scan to go a lot deeper. Custom scan, you just put in your own folder. For instance, downloads. If you download a virus into the downloads folder, you just scan that folder regularly. And then it will find the viruses in there. Protect my Mac on, protect my Mac off. So that is the same as just the little protect my Mac up here. And that just sort of checks your web pages and stuff and checks that um, you're not going onto any sites known for viruses and stuff. So that is iAntivirus for the Mac. Uh, I think you need basic protection for your Mac as viruses are made for any computer and you don't know who's going to get a virus next on their Mac. So this is just basic protection and I think you need it. So thank you for watching this video about antivirus for the Mac. Please check out my other videos and if you like them then please subscribe. And thank you for watching this video. Please um, rate five stars and comment on what you think and any other programs you know about. So yeah, thank you for watching. Please rate, comment and subscribe. I'll see you next time.